Hello and welcome to another episode of Beginners Tutorial Series. And in today's tutorial, we are going to discuss one Power Query function, list dot difference. Let's jump to Power BI. Uh, to reach Power Query under the Home tab, uh, you have Transform Data. Clicked on the Transform Data under that, and then we will reach to Power Query. Now, to learn this uh, list dot difference, let's first create a blank query. So new sources blank query. And in this blank query, uh, we will get a query created and nothing is there. And then we can right click on this one and go to advanced editor. Now, once we open the advanced editor, we will see this source. In this source, what I can do is I can create a list first of all. So I can create a list one, two, three, or one, two, comma, three, comma, four, comma, five. So as per definition of list dot difference, It's going to give us returns the difference between the two given list. But the difference is in such a manner that it's not going to return anything which is present in the list two. Okay. So I, if I give four comma five, let's say here. So I should not get four comma five. I should only get one comma two comma three. Because so something which is present in this second list is not going to come. So A minus B, something like that sort of thing we are trying. Okay, so this is the list one, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, then second one is four comma five, and we are doing a list dot difference. And we got a list only one, two, three. Now, what happens if it has, this one has duplicate, let's say, four comma four. What happens then? It's still no difference. Advanced editor. Again, let's say what happened if this has a difference. Now you see that the three is coming twice, but what happens if the other list also contains one three? So let's give three comma four comma five. Okay, now what happens when that both list doesn't have anything in common? So we are getting whatever is there in the first list. If it is not present in the second list, it doesn't matter. We are going to get that. Now what happens if both the lists are same? 3, comma 4, comma 5. Okay. So now again let's go back to the one more case where we have duplicates. So 1, comma 2, comma 3, comma 3. Okay. So now we are we are getting one three because one three is only available in the, that second list and here we have two lists, two threes. So now how to deal with such situation? If I don't want, even if it is one is there, it may contain duplicate because it could be columns where duplicate values are there. So th for that, what I'm going to do is list dot distinct and then let me try that. So now I'm not getting. So list dot distinct is ensuring that we have only one three, even if there are duplicates. Now this gives me the option to do across two tables or somewhere. I can do a minus b. Let's see, do we have something in our tables? Query one, query two. There are a lot of many things. Okay, let's let's quickly create two tables. So I'm going to create two tables. Let's say I have let's say a, b. B, C, and D, and I call it D one difference one. Then let me create one more table. And in this table, let's give C, D, and E. D two. Now somebody ask you give gives give us a table three which should contain everything in D1, not in D2, and there should not be any duplicates. Now here, let we, even if we include one D, well, we can include one B, and how to edit that? We can actually double click here, and we can include a B here. Now, even if it is one B is there, is there, then we should not get that, okay? So A, B, B, C, D, so only, it seems like only A should have come, but let's try that out. 
first of all let's create another table so for that again we need to create a blank query now advanced editor and we say list dot list dot reference it's not suggesting hopefully we done doing everything correct okay so d1 d1 column 1 comma d2 column 1 let's try this okay so d1 column 1 d2 column 1 so we got a and b so when we take columns from a different table it's they are always treated as list so we got it but b should not have come isn't it so b should not have come then what we should do we again go to the advanced editor and here we say list dot distinct okay and we are done so now what is happening first a distinct list is created and that list is compared with this one so it's true a minus b now now whether you need or don't need that depends on your scenario so based on that whether you need to take a distinct list or not a distinct list you can take a call depending on the use case and then because it's a list you can always convert it into a table okay so try this out do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you